Sure has been one hell of a long day, huh? Yeah, but it's ending a lot better than it started out. Yeah. Gotta tell you, though, it's gonna be tough to find that hooker. I don't want you to think about that right now. I want you to come over here, and I'm gonna give you one of my patented neck massages. And bless your generous heart. <laughs> Feel better? Look better? Yeah, that's better. But not perfect. No, that's perfect. What's going on in that crazy mind of yours? I want to make you pregnant. And where did that come from? Well, I guess from seeing all those pregnant ladies tonight, I want to see that glow on you, Eden. I want to feel our baby in your belly. I want to see a little Eden running around. Guess I never really quite thought of that possibility, having all our children look like me. <laughs> We'd have to sell them, that's all. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean it's so strange when you think about it. What? Having kids, you know? We take them for granted. Other people have them, you think, wow, they're so cute, and it must be amazing the way they relate to them. But it's going to be like our own kid. It'll be like a carbon copy of you or me. Right here in the world, for whom we have responsibility, you know, it's, it's going to be a mind blower. Yeah, I guess that's what Mason and Victoria are going through. Can you imagine a miniature Mason running around? No, I can't. <laughs> I can't imagine a miniature anything. I, I couldn't visualize him getting married. I can't visualize him having a baby. I'm not going to have to visualize it. Much longer, a few more months go by, and it's going to be right out there for everybody to see. It's going to be interesting. You know what would be even more interesting? What? If you and I got to work on making something of our own for being class. I thought you never asked. I love you. I love you too.